Okay, so quick video, hopefully. Um, this is my little Ender 2. I've got my um, my CR, sorry for the mess. I've got my CR-10 over there. And I got my Ender 2. Um, the Ender 2, the hot ends are between this, the Ender 2 and the CR-10 are the same thing. Uh, and the problem I had was uh, it came up only after a couple weeks of, um, of having the printer was the hot end stopped heating up. In fact, it did it right in the middle of a print. And... Um, and so what was happening was that the thermistor still works, so it'll read the ambient temperature, but it uh, refuses to uh, heat up, and it sort of rapidly, right in the middle of a print, just uh, started cooling off. So you can see, uh, I've set the temp there to 116, just any temp doesn't matter, and it stays at 12, it does nothing. So <clears throat> uh, our friends over at uh, Tiny Machines, so I bought a couple of uh, heat cartridges, so I went through the process of troubleshooting this a little bit, um, and we do have, um, if you were getting a max temp or a min temp, then that's something else, but um, in this case, the thermistor works, and I do have DC voltage uh, running through uh, when trying to heat, so I know that the control board is good, and, um, and the actual wiring is good, I'm getting power, but the cartridge itself is dead. So uh, I'll go through a little, hopefully this um, short and sweet process if anyone else runs into this on how to swap it out. So I'm kind of going to pause and resume and stuff like that as we're going. But first thing we're going to do is take this shroud off. And it's um, it's this screw and this screw. Okay, so we got the shroud off now. Here it is over here. It's hanging. And it's still running, by the way. And I'll, I'll shut it off here in a second. But um, So there's a couple of cable ties, one here and one here. So you'll clip those. Sorry, here and here. You just clip those off. And you'll notice all your wiring for your heater cartridge. Um, the red wires there are just running up through the sleeve. So we're going to snake them out of the sleeve. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shut down the power now. So I'm going to shut it down. <clears throat> and then we're going to open up this box. <clears throat> now it's actually, there's a bunch of screws in here, but it's only three. So it's this screw, this screw, and this screw here. So we'll take that off and I'll show you which wires to disconnect. Okay, so we got the cover off now. Cover's over here to the side. Um, there's a couple of uh, cables in here and um, so unless you want to you know unclip them and move them over you can um, So you can see here. This is the wire coming from uh, the hot end and it's coming in right here and these are your two um, Heater cartridge wires and uh, There is this little plastic uh, zip tie here that we're going to go ahead and clip just so we can get some uh, um, You know move move some cables around and we'll retie it because they um, They give us the extra clip. So let's do that all right, so we've clipped the uh, the zip tie, and so now I've got the wire here. So you can tell that there's um, a total of six wires uh, in the sleeve. And what I want to, I don't know, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna attempt to do is basically fish everything back through the sleeve without re, you know, disassembling the whole bit, make it a little bit easier. But these are the two wires that we're gonna go after right here. Uh, you can see there's two top threaded um, uh, uh, terminal screws here. That's what we're gonna be um, unscrewing. And then we'll just pull these wires out. We'll fish the hot end out of here. And I'll show you out of the hot end, there's a little set screw underneath here. So I'll show you that just uh, in a second. Okay, so I've got them disconnected. And I, and it, not that I, I don't think it's going to matter much, but I did. So this outside, um, this outside terminal, uh, I did put a little black mark on it. Uh, and so when I fish everything back through from the hot end, I'll, I'll wire it back the same way. I don't think it really matters. Um... But uh, so the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to make sure we clip off all of these zip ties. So there's uh, just one more here. So I think there's three total zip ties, four total zip ties that you'll want to clip um, just to free up uh, the cable. And then, uh, like I said, then we'll go ahead and pull the set screw out. So just give me a second. Okay, so we've got the, uh, the set screw out now. You can see... Um, Right there uh, in the hot end, what I did was I just cut a little bit of piece of that tape with uh, the X-Acto knife, and so that little um, set screw hole is uh, is what we're going after. Sorry for the blurriness, uh, but that little set screw right there. So we're going to remove that. Okay, so now we're out. Um, here's the heater cartridge here, and actually I did not remove that little set screw all the way. Um, just loosened it up um, because that thing is tiny. So if you lose it, you are screwed. Um, so um, you know, leave it in a turn or so. Um, if your heat cartridge is uh, super stuck, 
then you might have to take your hot end off using these two screws. You pull it out and maybe tap it with something um, to get it out. But mine came out relatively easily. So uh, so now what we're going to do since we're loose here, and I've got the, the ends over here, uh, we're going to try and snake it back up through the sheath um, so that we don't have to take the whole hot end off um, to do this. <clears throat> and worth noting, um, raise your... Um, your gantry here uh, up as high as you can go obviously that, that'll make it easier to get to uh, if you don't want to take the nozzle off uh, so let's try and snake this thing back through and uh, see how it goes okay so the old guy's out we were able to fish it through pretty good um, not too much resistance which is good um, now fishing one back in but here's the old one and you see it doesn't nothing looks wrong with it there's just some sort of internal short uh, in the wiring uh, that caused it to stop heating. So um, the new one we have is here. And really, it's, I mean, I don't even know why I'm showing you. It looks exactly the same. Uh, maybe, you know, a tad bit shinier. So we're going to put this guy back in, snake the wires in, and see how that goes. Okay, so we are in. Um, they are snaked back through. <clears throat> it's not uh, a fun experience. Um, but it's not horrible either. You want to do one wire at a time. You just fish it up through the end and push, push, push. And, uh, and then you can sort of move this up the cable and grab the end and fish it through. But you want to do one at a time. So what we're going to do is um, I'll get this back and dressed in. And this connected, you want to connect this first. And then we'll come back down here and deal with uh, the slack. Because uh, you'll, you'll have some slack, um, some extra slack that we'll have to cut off. Um, and uh, so I'll be back in a second. Um... I think, you know, from a lazy man approach, next time, I don't know, next time I may just uh, leave it out and just zip tie it to the outside of this thing. But it looks nicer dressed up and cleaned in. So let me get it all, uh, get this back connected, and then we'll uh, finish up the rest here. Okay, so we're back in. I think just a, uh, a quick note, you want to make sure um, your cartridge is, um, you know, fl I'm sorry, it's, it's hard to tell, but uh, flush with the outside of your uh, heat block there. Maybe just a tiny, tiny bit inset, but really flush is what you want. Um, and then we just sort of uh, gently bend this up just a hair. So I'm going to put the shroud back on now. Uh, I've got it still hanging over here, and then I'll tidy up the, uh, the cable wires. Okay, so we've got everything sort of cleaned back up. The shroud's back on. We've got the sleeve over. We've got one uh, tie wrap here that ties everything together uh, in the bundle. Uh, the second one, which uh, ties the PTFE tube, and then the one, uh, the third one that was up here uh, again. Uh, and now, so I've got this excess wire sort of hanging out, and I only need, so you can see um, it comes with a, a clipped end. Now it's just a little bit too much wire, and I could, I could make do with it and sort of wrap this up or leave it in a bundle in the back. I don't want to do that. I'm going to clean it up. Um, so all we really have to do um, is... Uh, trim this wire back and then um, you know leave about three-eighths uh, of an inch there um, and so we can put it back in uh, so let me let me clean that up just a hair and then we'll give it a test okay so we're all tied back in so um, you know here's the two um, wires that we stripped and put back in it's these two end terminals here and then you can use just a little tiny uh, flathead screwdriver that came with um, uh, came with the, your your little ender, your CR10. Uh, it all works. Um, just a, a one quick note: since you've got the cover off, go through your connections, uh, and they're all labeled Z, X, Y, E, and just make sure they're seated and down. You know, if anything, now's the time since you got the cover off to do it. And it's just a little gentle push. Don't wiggle it. Don't yank it. Just a gentle push. And if it clicks in, great. That means it was a little bit, a little loose. Um, and, and everything here looks good. The only thing to note on mine, and not that it's a huge deal, but this little set screw right there does not have a nylon washer. And so I noticed a couple times after kicking this on, uh, there'd be a racket. And I was wondering if the fan was going bad or something like that. But now I've determined that this little screw is just sort of kicking around loose. So um, what I need to do is find one of these, um, these little nylon uh, nuts here and uh, at some point in time go back and it just... Uh, just comes right up through the bottom and then reseed it. So, uh, so here we go. We're going to throw the cover back on. And give so we've replaced the heater cartridge and I've set it up. And so, thankfully, we're heating. So that looks good. Um, so that was a nice, uh, decently quick fix. Sorry, I have a stupid uh, 
lighting of this uh, screen goes a little funky, but it's heating up. So uh, a nice easy fix. Um, you know, again, it's not uh, not great, not horrible thing to do, but it you know it wasn't bad, and it doesn't take any uh, doesn't doesn't take an engineering degree to do it. Uh, pull the wires, follow where they're going, put everything back exactly the way it came out, and 20 minutes later you're good. So uh, thanks a lot.